So I guess this will serve as the second mic check and a welcome to the Richard Kemp Center. If you're able to hear my voice, that means this is coming through clearly. I guess some general house knowledge, if you're new to the Richard Kemp Center and you'd like to know where the bathrooms are, there are bathrooms to your, that's what, house left, stage right, so on this right side here, up the ramp. So there's two bathrooms on this side. If you're not familiar with the uh, director of the Richard Kemp Center, Christine Hughes, she's here as well with her husband, Mark Hughes, the executive director of the Vermont Racial Justice Alliance. If you're familiar with uh, the Vermont Racial Justice Alliance and a lot of the work, or the, as the motto goes, do the work, as long as the, a lot of the initiatives that are supported through the Racial Justice Alliance are put into action here at the Richard Kemp Center, including the most recent, or the second annual trip to Washington, D.C., the Sankofa, bring it back trip and that was very that was a very successful trip the second of the the uh, annual flagship program that supported here at the Richard Kemp Center also a lot of information about the after school programs if you're coming in at the information desk there's some information about the upcoming events including our movie nights we have this the 31st we have movie nights and this is for our parents right and our guardians our adults this is uh, featured for you and the other Fridays the other Fridays specifically we have youth movie nights that's game night um specifically two on the 21st of june the 8th of june we have our growing homes initiative front door that's from 11 a.m to 1 p.m and uh, saturday june 15th that's our second annual juneteenth open house we welcome the entire community to come through and see what we're doing here. Tell your friends, tell your family, and of course, tell your young ones that this is a great space not only just to hang out, but to share information and to get relative information about what's going on. And of course, to be impactful within the community. We have a lot of partnership partnership um, uh, features that are here, and Growing Homes is specifically one of those where we impa impart some of that information that's um, well needed within the underserved community. So to support this, um, another event that's here, of course, the students at the uh, Horizon Horizons Advanced um, Advance Math? Applied Math, uh, who's here. Big shout out to uh, the students that helped put together the murals that you see, that you see on the outside of the building. Big shout out to everyone there. A couple names, just uh, without, uh, you know, without to miss anyone out, but big shout out to the Applied Math students, Buddy, Jamie, hey Jamie, Khalil, Quentin, or Q, Jacob, Xander, Shakar, Jordan. Anybody want to shout out the names of anybody missing? How about some of the, the supportive collaborators here? Big shout out to Anne. All right. Our music is coming from Mike. All right. Big thanks for uh, CCTV being here and capturing this event and uh, that we'll be able to share with the greater community and just be a... Uh, and Nancy, yeah, big shout out to Nancy. And your name, I want to shout. Jim, big shout out to everyone putting this together. This is a part of what it is to support the activities here in the community. So the mural, which will be here, and it will be a, a big draw in. There is another side to this building that we'll be working on in the future. And uh, we'll be hoping for your support to, to help us push that together as well. So just take the time to uh, look at the, the tables and, and actually give... Uh, give credit back to the students who put the hard work not only in the physical location but in their studies as well and uh, look out for programs also this summer that help to uh, support uh, that like the back to school or back to school uh, block party that we have on the outside too so there's a lot of activities that we're featuring here at the Richard Kemp Center so we just want to spread the word and let you know that this is a great space not only just for the focused events but just to come out and hang and to uh, just uh, share some uh, so a, a good positive word with one another play some games and enjoy yourself so in the next few minutes Minutes, about five minutes or so we'll be featuring here if we would uh, ask everyone to come and find a seat in the next five minutes or so and then we'll start the second part of this program and and just talking about and having some engaging activities here as well so welcome to the Richard Kemp Center hope you enjoy yourselves and uh, let us know if there's anything we can do to help and of course uh, Christine Hughes right here if you if you're not familiar with and Mark Hughes is busy in the back, focus as always, but he'll be definitely coming around and saying hey to everyone as well. So enjoy yourselves, and thanks for being here. Yeah. Hi, um, I'm Megan. I'm a, a parent of one of the students who worked on the mural um, that we're celebrating today at the Kemp Center, and I am just really thrilled to have been welcomed to this beautiful space. It's really nourishing and a collaborative space where I'm seeing 
kind of what what the power of community can build. And uh, yeah, it's been a really, really great experience to check out what the kids have done um, and also learn a lot about uh, black American mathematicians and their contributions to the, the field of mathematics as well. My name is Jocelyn Fletcher Scheich. I'm the Associate Director of Teaching and Learning for Burlington School District. And I am here because these amazing students have contributed to our community in a way that really represents deeper learning and I'm so proud of their work and I'm so proud of the teachers and principals at Horizons who have made it happen. If you can hear me, come to the front, to the front area. Yeah, find a seat. I wanted to quickly um, be, give a shout out to the Inclusive, Inclusive Arts Vermont. Uh, any individuals here from Inclusive Arts Vermont? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. And uh, parents that are here as well, give yourself a round of applause for supporting here. And also the teaching element, a lot of the skill sets that, um, that enable students to actually put on this work is supported um, by, uh, give me, everyone here. But um, if just as a, as a warm welcome, thank you for being here and actually being a part of this. Back to you really quick. Uh -huh. <laughs> Welcome to the Richard Kemp Center. My name is Ann Gatch. I am a teacher at Horizons, soon to be named something else. What? We don't know. But <laughs> we're close. And we're really glad. <laughs> we're really glad that you all are here. And um, I just want to specifically give a shout out to a couple of seniors who not only helped paint this wall this year, but also were part of a mural collaboration last year over at the Shell gas station on down the road. So a little shout out to Buddy and Jamie for their beautifying the community. Um, I'm not going to talk too long, um, but I just wanted to say from the bottom of my heart um, to everybody here, students, um, staff members, and um, community members, I really thank you for this opportunity to be able to connect youth to the community, to bust out of our four cinder block walls of our classroom, and to apply math in a really different hands-on approach. And so from the bottom of my heart, I feel like I am filled with deep gratitude um, and a lot of love for the ability to have the, this experience with these wonderful individuals of my applied math class. So a round of applause for my math class. So I wanted to invite Christine up to just kind of uh, tell us a little bit about the Richard Kemp Center and just uh, whatever you'd like to say. The mic is yours. Thank you so much. Um, wow, I don't even know what to say. I'm so overwhelmed and just so blessed and um, just really thankful for all of the work for the students and especially the relationships that have developed along the way. I mean, I feel like we're like family now. So, And I also feel like there, there's a whole lot of work and, and um, you know, partnership that has gotten us to this point. And then, because it's so rich, I'm just so excited about what else is going to happen after this as a result of this. So thank you all for being here. Huge shout out to all of the students. Jamie, I love you. You know, there, there's so, if you notice that we've adopted these symbols, these Adinkra symbols, um, and they're very meaningful. You'll see them incorporated into the art here and the art out there. Um, and I really encourage you to just learn about what those things mean. You'll see Jamie has the Sankofa sweatshirt on, and that was the theme that we picked for our trip to our annual trip to the Museum of African American History and Culture in DC. We will be doing it again next year. So, and the Sankofa symbol, symbol stands for go back and get it. So just let that you know, resonate and think about what that means. And the last thing that I'll say is that, you know, this is the Richard Kemp Center. It's, it's a cultural empowerment center and it's our center. We're here for the community. Please come by. We have so much going on. 
use the QR codes so, so that we can stay in touch with you and let you know about things that are going on. But please feel free to just come by. So thank you so much. Is Mark around? Does he want to say anything? I'm sure he does. Mark to the stage. Okay, <laughs> we'll get him. Okay, um, I wanted to open the mic to um, uh, anybody else who'd like to say something. Um, Bobby, you wanna go next? I have a prepared statement. Oh, there we go. Well, that's not gonna work. All right. Oh no, no. tech support. I like it. <laughs> I'll start by saying I'm Bobby Riley, the principal at a soon to be named new school at beautiful Rock Point Commons. Um, and uh, I just wanted to start by saying the easiest thing in the world to do is say yes. When you have people that are creative and open to partnerships, it's easy to say yes to that because it's good for our community and it's good for our children. So um, appreciative of that. Um, today we gather to celebrate a remarkable achievement, an awe-inspiring mural now adorning the once graffiti-covered wall in Burlington, the second one, two years in a row we've done that. This mural represents the culmination of an educational journey intertwining mathematics and art. We learned about black American mathematicians and their invaluable contributions, which deeply influenced our math through art approach. We studied exponents, patterning, looping and nodding, fractals, the star-cut diagram, ratios, and more. Each student artwork reflects the lessons and practices synthesized through the collaborative group projects that they conducted. Students had the opportunity to choose lessons and artwork that resonated with them, incorporating these into the mural. This hands-on outside the classroom experience allowed them to discover the power of creativity and the significance of their voices in advocating for positive change. The mural is a visual story capturing the essence of our diverse community. It stands as a testament to the creativity, resilience, and vision of our students. As we celebrate it, let us remind us that education goes beyond textbooks and exams and classroom walls. It's about nurturing hearts and minds, equipping students to navigate complexities and empowering them to be catalysts for positive change. This beautiful piece of community art was brought to life through the collaboration with our efforts uh, with Inclusive Arts Vermont. Thank you. Uh, artist Mike Plant, AKA DJ Transplant, there he is. And Gatch and Nancy Benefor's vision for an integrated arts class. The support of Anand Begora from our Office of Diversity and Equity. Stephanie Phillips, our district curriculum director and our dedicated students. We also extend our deepest gratitude to the Richard Kemp Center for their invaluable support and partnership. May this mural inspire all who see it, reminding them of the boundless potential within each of us and especially our students and what education can be. All right, thank you very much and thanks for this lovely celebration and partnership. Alexandra from Inclusive Arts, Vermont. Hey there, my name is Alexandra Turner. I'm the Director of Inclusive Education at Inclusive Arts, Vermont. Uh, we're a statewide um, organization. Our mission is to use the magic of the arts to engage the capabilities and enhance the confidence of children and adults with disabilities. And we do this through arts, educa arts education, professional development, and um, exhibitions of Vermonters with this, of art from Vermonters with disabilities. Sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> um, I'm so, so glad to be here. I had very little to do with this, except um, I got to say yes. I got to talk to Anne, I got to talk to Jim and Bobby, um, and, and figure out how we could use some of our residency funding, which I want to give a shout out to the Arts Council for giving us that funding through the Artists and Schools grants to um, fund Mike to come in and work with Nancy and Anne and all the students on this amazing mural. So um, let me just check my uh, very well-prepared uh, notes. <clears throat> um, yeah, I just want to say um, thank you so much for, for having us, for working with us um, year after year. We've had long collaborations with Bobby and with Anne, um, and we look forward to many more in the future. And thank you, Mike, for all your amazing, amazing work. Somehow, Mike got a very reluctant student to not only go down to his work and grab a ladder that was super tall and bring it to our wall, 
uh, but to actually help fill in all the little black crevices that were 15 feet tall. Yeah, Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> um, yeah, we were like, we don't know how we're going to reach the top of this wall. And Jacob's like, I got that. And he just went the extra mile. So a shout out to Jacob wherever he may be today. So, and a shout out to you, Mike, for encouraging him and uh, having him be able to fulfill his eclipse dreams with that spray technique. That was really cool. On a windy day on a tall ladder. So anyway, <laughs> um, sometimes humans come into your life and you're like, whoa, I really need to know this person. And um, I definitely felt that way about Nancy Benneroff. And I was like, I took a um, sacred geometry class and I was like, who are you and how can I know more about you and how can you come in and do this awesome stuff with my students? And Nancy answered the call. So um, a big shout out to Nancy Benneroff uh, with the Math Through Art organization. And I'd like to invite you up here to say a few words. Tetrahedron, so we're gonna leave that with you, the star. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of repeat what everybody's been saying, which is thank you. The time with the students was truly amazing. My favorite part about it was the feeling at the wall when we showed up. Everyone was focused, everyone was calm, everyone was patient, everyone knew what to do, and it was a very alive experience like we had a plan and everyone did have a sketch but how it all came together was very in the moment and just felt very alive and that's what i've been talking about with christine and it's just like a letting go of control and allowing things to be in the moment and be alive and where that leads and how things blossom and i feel like the wall was a great example of that and one more thing about Math Through Art is we really work with the patterns that are inherent in all of creation and how things unfold. And it's a very coherent and orderly focus of our attention. And I think that helps us as people and students within their beings at a certain level. And then within all of that order, we ask for the expression of individual creativity. And I think the wall is also a beautiful example of both the order and the individual creativity coming together. So thanks to everyone. It's been amazing. We literally had people like pull up at the light and they were like, ah, F you, brah, 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 brah. And they were like angry in the car and then they'd go, hey guys, that looks great. <laughs> and, and I think you pointed that out. You know, it's like we had an impact. You know, people were like angry in their car, but when they looked at the wall, they stopped being angry and they reached out. They connected with us, which was extraordinary. And it's like it created a vibe. Like we affected the community. And in times where things feel so out of control and it feels like maybe there's no rules, there's no, um, you know, order to what's going on, we created a moment that had an impact on our community, at least this much of an impact, maybe more. Um, I'd like to open the mic to any of my students who wish to say something. Um, if they want to talk about their experience on the wall. Um, I know that can be a big, a big leap, and I'm happy to stand up here um, with you, if you wish. Uh, but if anybody would like to come say something about their experience. OK. That's all right. That's all right. Shikar? No? OK. All right. Cool. Um, anybody else like to say a few words, uh, feel moved to say a few words? Hey. 
You guys are all amazing. I want to say, because none of the students came up, I want to say you guys are amazing artists. I feel so honored to have had the opportunity to meet each one of you, showing up at the wall, expressing yourselves. I feel like the community element was something that I can't even put to words, but I'm going to try in the idea of this like empowerment of expression and including everyone, those people driving by, walking by, each of you showing up each day when maybe you had other things to do, you showed up, you brought amazing energy, creative energy, you put it into some work that'll be there for a while and like the memory that I have of this moment and past murals or whatever, but this community and the things that we're doing to weave that and include everyone, I feel like is something that is transformative and is something that I love doing and it charges me every day. So I'm so thankful to be a part of all the different communities that were able to come together. And there's so many people to thank and you know organizations, schools, but I wanna definitely thank all the kids, the parents, the teachers, and everyone that supported me to be here today too. And uh, say thank you to all of you guys. Thank you. Cheers. Okay. Well, this was the blah, blah, blah portion of our exhibition of learning. <laughs> and um, what I wanted to do next was I wanted the artists who are here who contributed to the wall to go over to the mural spot where they put their contribution and I wanted to do a photo op and if you're like I don't like photos it's okay if you you know do this to the photo um, but you can you can be proud of your work you can show us the back of your head but I just kind of wanted to have a photo opportunity and I wanted to call everyone's attention to the wall and just have us all take a look at it and go yay wall and then we can come back in and have some sandwiches yeah does that sound cool all right so if my artists could make their way to their spot on the wall um and then maybe uh jim could snap a photo for us that'd be fantastic and then like i said when we're done with that we'll come back in here and have some sandwiches Hi, I'm Sarah Brown, the Executive Director of Inclusive Arts Vermont, and um, grateful to be at the Richard Kep Center today, um, representing our organization. One of our teaching artists, Mike Plant, um, led a residency with students here that created the mural on the side of the building, and um, it's been a wonderful experience just to witness the, um, the intersection of math through art that the, the students brought about today um, over the course of the last few months, but um, to witness it today. And uh, yeah, it's been a, a beautiful um, experience to go outside and see that this afternoon and uh, grateful for the opportunity. Hello, I'm Jamie. I am a part of the class that painted this mural. just want to say that I'm so thankful for everybody and it was such an exciting experience to be able to paint and make connections with the Richard Kemp Center and Horizons together. Um, it was lovely. It was a long, long process, but we are so happy with the way it looks and how it came out and the colors and everything so yes this is from the Sankofa 24 uh, 2024 trip we went to DC and went to the National History Museum of African American history and culture um, it was a lovely experience to learn the Sankofa uh, symbol means go back and get it and that's what we did we learned about our history and took pieces of it to carry with us.
Everybody ready? Everyone say Fibonacci! We are interviewing students about our exhibition of learning here at the Richard Kemp Center. With me now, I have Kamea and Maddie from Horizons, and they're going to talk a little bit about what they saw and what our program is all about. So tell us what you thought about the exhibition. I thought that it was um, a very good thing that happened because it also like shows people helping out with the community and you know making it look more beautiful than it already is and it's just a great opportunity for people to learn new things and like figure out what they want to do because some people might want to be artists and it would help a lot and it's I feel like it's just a, a good thing yeah it's fire it was really cool yeah so have you ever been to the Richard Kemp Center before no no I've heard a lot about it, though, because my friend Jamie works here. Yeah. Awesome. Well, what do you think about it now? I think it's really cool. I think it's a really cool program. Um, if you want to, like, get to know the community and be a part of the community. And they also, like, teach a lot of interesting s stuff. And they do really cool things. Like, they went to Washington, D.C., and that was super cool. Yeah, I think it's a very, very nice program because, you know, it's it's, a, it's also a nice opportunity for children and stuff because, like, a, our friend works here and, you know, it's an opportunity of her to have, like, an internship and, you know, get stuff. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about uh, your experience at Horizons and some hands-on learning opportunities you. you've had. I got you. Um, Horizons is awesome. It's really cool. I came thinking it had a really bad rep, like it's for bad kids, it's for kids who can't do like the normal school learning and it's not like that at all, it's just hands on, you get to choose your own projects, you get to choose what you're doing in class. We did a podcast with Anne and that was super cool because we all chose that and got credit for it. So yeah, I really like Horizons, it's really hands on and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm yapping. Um, <laughs> Horizons is definitely like the best thing that's happened to me because, you know, school was a hard thing for me and this actually, you know, helps a, a, a lot and it actually makes me kind of sad that next year will be my last year and, you know, <laughs> it's like, it's definitely like the best program ever and like Maddie said, there was such a bad rep about it. And like everybody was talking like real bad about it, but oh God, it's completely it. different. Like it's not what you expect. Like you have to actually go there to understand. Like it's probably the best opportunity you can have. All right, you've heard it live here. Thank you. Do you want to sit so you can rest? Say your name for the camera. Uh, Ann Gatch. Ann Gatch. Mm-hmm. And what's your what's your role here? 
I am an educator at the Horizons program. You're an educator at the Horizons program, and yep. we've got something going on here. Mark Hughes, Reverend Mark Hughes joining you here from the Richard Kemp Center. It is dope. It is lit in here today. We've got folks from Horizon out here, uh, soon to be, I guess, Rock Point. Are they changing that over We're or something changing like that? the name to something new. But something new. They we don't got, know they what gotta, it is. All the people got to agree on it, but, and we don't know yet. But you're an educator out there. We are so glad to host you here. We're so it happy. Was, you're here. It's so wonderful to be a part of uh, putting a mural on the Richard Kemp Center. Yeah, and, and how did so that happen? How did we come to do that? Well, um, I just stopped in in November. Just stopped in? I stopped in mm -hmm. and, and you guys welcomed me in and we had a conversation. I said, mm -hmm. I want to I wanna put a mural on one of your walls. Mm -hmm. so, so we, we talked about how, how could we do that and make it meaningful. And how many youth were involved? In the whole program. Mm -hmm. um, we started off with a class of 12 and we ended up with eight strong students. Eight strong who, students. Who delivered the mural. You want to describe it a little bit about what was actually put up on the, on the wall outside? Absolutely. So Christine said. Um, Christine is. Christine Hughes is the director of, of course the Richard she is. Kemp Center. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And. Um, she said, we'd like the mural to be about black American mathematicians. Black American mathematicians. Mm -hmm. So that's what the mural's all about. That's what the mural's all about. Okay. And so we took um, some mathematicians, we studied the contribution of their work, mm -hmm. and we turned it into a math through art lesson. That's amazing. And then we put that, we, we let the students kind of pick the one that they liked, and mm -hmm. that they could choose to put on the wall. Sure. And absolutely. then each concept on the wall directly relates back to one of our mathematicians we studied. And how many mathematicians are we talking about here? We're talking about these wonderful mathematicians right here, six mathematicians um, whose work contributed to our mural inspiration. So, so we've got six African-American uh, mathematicians out there on the wall. We've got a mural that's all done. Now yeah. we're celebrating, we're inside. Uh, so what do you see for the future as far as some of the other stuff that you're foreseeing uh, happening with the Richard Kemp Center, with the youth, and what's next? Before we talk about that though, we okay. have to talk about your Sankofa trip. Oh, because, Sankofa. Because one of your students that you took with you to okay. the Sankofa trip in mm -hmm. D.C. Mm -hmm. studied Benjamin Banneker okay. and took pictures from that museum and brought it back to our school and made that connection, like synthesized that because you of tell your us, trip. Can you tell us about that project in particular, though? I mean, what, what, so, I, so that was Jamie, right? That was Jamie, okay. yeah. She wanted to uh, study... Um, the Smithsonian Museum. So sure. she went to the museum and she created a sort of visual slideshow mm. and presented it to the Horizons community and talked mm. about the Richard Kemp Center taking a group of youth mm -hmm. to um, to the museum and it, it was a wonderful trip. She also took pictures of other things. Fantastic. And, and But the one that stuck out was her connection mm. with Benjamin Banneker. She took a picture of a statue of him. And just to get this straight, <clears throat> when Jamie became familiar with Benjamin Banneker <laughs> while she was in D.C. on the Sankofa trip. Well, it connected because we right. talked about him in I class. See. I see. But then when she saw his statue, uh -huh. it just became a part of her slideshow. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And, and so it, it was like Richard Kemp Center and mm -hmm. applied math class just synthesizing mm -hmm. for her. Okay, let's it get out of here. We got we got to keep we got, we got to keep it moving because these people's attention span is not I long. Got you. So let's. Got you. So what's next? What's next? We want the other side of the Richard Kemp Center. We want to work with Juniper Collective, mm -hmm. and we want to work with Nancy again, mm -hmm. and we want to uh, be able to put our mathematicians that contributed to this artwork, we want to put the mathematicians on that wall. Fantastic. Um, and so that is our goal. Fantastic, and I so appreciate y'all. I was talking to Bobby, the principal, just a little bit ago great group of folks out here. How many how many folks do you think you guys brought down with you today? You know, I think student-wise, we probably had about 20 and... 20 students. There was yeah. probably about 20 adults. About 20 adults. Great, great event. We really appreciate you guys being Thank here. You. My heart is touched. Here My at heart the, is full. At the Richard Kemp Center, this is amazing, amazing work that these youth are doing. Uh, again, the place is lit. Right now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to revisit this at some time in the future. We've had some conversations uh, with the director. She she wants to memorialize this event, so we'll be we'll be bringing Horizon back in. We're not 
uh, transactional, we're relational here, so I think this is the beginning of some just an amazing relationship that we have with Horizon. We are so proud to be here in the community and representing uh, what's going on here, so thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Blessings. Blessings. Thanks. Thanks.